Chef Anu, here we are. 30 days, first month done. It's just me at the moment. My darling's just over on the bed with baby. We are currently in Kirikiriroa in Hamilton. We traveled down this morning for my brother and his fiance's baby shower, which was amazing. Saw my sister, I haven't seen in a long time. Saw our new nephew, he's adorable. But the babies are a little unsettled today, which is okay. I think it's just a bit overwhelming. She's had a big trip and yeah, just relaxing now until we head back tomorrow morning. What will happen is I'll do my part and then my darling will jump in, do the analytical side of things and then I'll do the wrap up. So I'm going to be honest, it's, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I think just trying to balance it with everything else in our life uh, mahi and baby and you know the normal house things yeah it just it's very low on the priority list so we don't we don't plan too much ahead in terms of like make it like the, the best thing would probably be to make a whole bunch of videos on one day and then schedule them so that we just kind of have this ongoing flow of, of content but that's not how it rolls get caught up doing other things and the videos yeah just go lower and lower on the priority list and then before you know it it's real late at night and we still don't have a video out and then we're up till like 11 30 <laughs> trying to edit and get this video up because that's the that's the choice we decided to make i'm not complaining about it it's hard but we're here and we have managed to to achieve the first part of this of this challenge have i learned anything from it seeing what videos are the easiest for us to make i guess that way we can create a bulk batch of those like for an example i could probably sit down for an hour and draw break that up into three videos and then we have more time or I guess mental space to focus on a video that we want to put like a little bit more effort into so in terms of the editing uh, what the content is actually about so all of that sort of stuff I think we're slowly starting to get there but maybe it's still a little early to see the I guess little gems that we're that we're trying to look for and doing this challenge the thing i've most enjoyed is that we can do it regardless of how busy we get we've always managed to make sure that a video is out by the end of the day whether it be at 10 o'clock in the morning or it's out at 11 o'clock at night we have always managed to make sure that a video has gone out the learning from that is just to put in the work there's no secret technique you can you can plan all you want but at the end of the day if you're not doing the thing it, all your plannings for doesn't mean anything so these videos have just kind of taught us to just get on with it do the work and just keep moving forward and just do things the best you can don't be so caught up in the details we're just all about making sure that we meet that goal which is 90 days a video every day and at the moment we're at day 30 so we're doing pretty good some days we have almost said no will anyone really care will it matter and to be honest no I, I, I doubt anyone would care but we would even though if we uploaded the following day and we did an unbroken record for the rest of those days we know that there was one day that we didn't and that's the day that would just stick out to us i do wish sometimes we should have just said 30 because the challenge would have been over but no we just decided to go 90 so we carry on but that's all we're doing fine we're just doing our best so anyway i'm going to tag out with my darling she's going to come and do the analytics and then i'll wrap things up so i'll see you soon kia ora te whanau. so from an analytics perspective our channel got 13,619 views which is awesome our watch time was 464 hours six not sure if that's good or bad because this is our first monthly wrap up we received 213 subscribers which is 73 more than usual 
and our estimated revenue for this last month was $46.13 which is amazing that is considering that we earned $135 in three years <laughs> So the benchmark uh, is, <laughs> it's, it's going to be anything more than that is pretty cool. So it's really awesome to be able to wrap up this month, this last 28 days. And it's going to be really interesting to see our next wrap up to see if that's growing, if there's some things that came down a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to have a benchmark for us to see how far we've grown. In terms of how I'm feeling, I'm a little bit worn out, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot doing these videos on top of being, I want to say still a new mum. Like, baby's nearly four months, but I feel like I'm still new at this. So, trying to show up and be a mama, trying to show up with my husband. You know, first and foremost, those are my two main important things in my life is being a wife and being a mama and then also our commitments that we've set outside of that such as YouTube, our business. Yeah it can be quite challenging especially on days where we don't know what to record and it's 6 p.m at night and <laughs> we need to hustle and get something online but I've also just enjoyed the process and the learnings that me and my darling have gone through um, over this last 28 days and it's been awesome to actually make a commitment and follow through with it there's a lot of things that we always say like we need to do this and we need to do that and I'd love if we did this and we don't follow through with it half the time so it's nice to be able to set a goal and achieve it a quarter way through <laughs> Or a third but yeah it's it's pretty it's a lot but I think like everything in life you know it's not always gonna be rainbows and flowers but I'm enjoying the process and really looking forward to seeing where this next 60 days takes us chirp <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it okay. chirp <laughs> I know I'm very biased when it comes to chocolate chip cookies. I'm telling you, these ones from our sis, Kapu and Cookie, we'll put the link in the description. No words. Well, there you go, Fano. That's the fruition of the hard work. It may not seem like much, but you just keep going, keep the foot on the throttle before you know it. Who knows, we might be on here one day doing a wrap up saying our, our numbers are a million and our earnings is 5,000. But it's up to you, eh? It's up to you to expand your thinking and, and, and think that you can get there. Because if you just keep thinking small, do it for a month, see $40, see, what was it? 200 subscribers. And you could look at that and be like, oh, that's not worth it. Well, then you make it not worth it. It's all about your thinking, Pano, and we're just doing our best trying to yeah, make the most of the time that we have and the skill sets that we do have yeah, to set the best path forward for us. I guess to wrap up, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> and whether you like the videos or whether you don't like the videos, guess what? We're going to keep going. It might slow down later on after the challenge because I'm sure we will want we will want a break. We just gotta keep going. That's it. Maybe that's the thing. Just keep going. So thanks so much, Fano, for all of your support. We really, really do appreciate it. It's awesome seeing the comments, um, seeing all of our our Fano Fanui, which means our wider wider family overseas in Aussie across the ditch we're just glad that these videos can give some sort of value to you so don't forget like subscribe for more content and here's to another 30 days <laughs> all right Fano, catch you later Trip. oh hi my darling are you in your little Christmas PJs hey yeah, you got the Hogwarts ones, hey? The Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Say ta-ta.
Se ei tätä vaan ei. Äki 